In this video, we're going to show you how to prevent and stop email spammers from flooding your inbox with unwanted emails. If your inbox is being flooded with emails from a mail delivery system like you can see here, and if you're not trying to send emails to these accounts yourself, which can be the case when you're trying to send out a newsletter uh, to emails that don't exist, then you're most likely a victim of email spoofing. You can check to see if these emails are spam by clicking on some of them and looking at the recipient's email address to ensure that it is not a part of your email list and that you are in fact being spammed. You can also check the message of the email down here but make sure you're not clicking on any malicious uh, attachments like exe files. So in this case you can see some spammy text here and this can help you ensure that this is in fact spam. Email messages that are bouncing back are not actually being sent originally from your account or even from your server. A spammer is actually sending these emails and setting your address as the return address. When messages are undeliverable, they go to you instead of the person who actually sent the spam. You can help quickly identify these emails as spam by turning on a type of email authentication called Domain Keys and SPF. They help to ensure the messages are actually coming from the listed sender. To do this, simply log into your control panel scroll down to the email tab and click on authentication. In the domain key section, DKIM, near the top of the page, check the current status. If it says disabled, click the enable button. This will turn on domain keys and it will go into effect immediately. Domain keys identified mail, or DKIM, is an email authentication method designed to detect email spoofing. It allows the receiver to check that an email claim to come from a specific domain was indeed authorized by the owner of that domain. In effect, enabling this feature helps to prevent incoming spam messages. We go back. If you get any warning messages like you can see here, then you will need to contact your host and ask them to confirm that this server is an authoritative name server for your website. Once they fix things from their end, you should see DKIM enabled without any warning messages. Uh, the next step is to do the same for SPF. If it is disabled, click enable. In this case, it is enabled. And what the SPF is, it's a, a sender policy framework uh, and it's a simple email validation system designed to detect email spoofing so it prevents outgoing spam messages. As a precaution, you might want to change your email password. To do so, you want to go to email accounts and then update the password for each account that has uh, mail spam issues. If you haven't done so, you're going to want to enable Spam Assassin. So click right here, Apache Spam Assassin. In our case, it's enabled, but if it's disabled, simply click enable. Here's another example where it is disabled, so we're going to click enable Spam Assassin. And it tells you Apache Spam Assassin is now enabled. Finally, you can change the cPanel password, which will ensure that no hacker can get inside if they had access to the old password. This should prevent any future spam and ensure that you're not getting those nasty mail delivery failure messages. We hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, please let us know.